Hello everyone, welcome back to Nanjing. Today I'm gonna to take you on a walk down Hanko Shilu. Yeah, this is actually a requested video. Um, a few people have actually asked me if I'd walk down this road. Um, it's very easy for me because I'm actually very familiar with this area. Uh, not only did I live on Shanghai Lu, which is right nearby here for three years, I have another video about that. Um, but I actually went to Nanjing Normal University for a year, so I spent a lot of time over here. And just over the years, I've come over here a lot because this is where all the foreigners used to live. So let's take a quick look. Um, yeah, this road has a lot of coffee shops and stuff a little further down, but over here on both sides, there's a lot of food and yeah, just a lot of uh, nice places to come and, and walk around. Actually, the roads, the alleys up on the left um, are really nice. That should be a whole nother video. Uh, I should go in there one day and wander around. That neighborhood's really nice. And on the right is Nanjing Normal University, which is also really nice. But uh, like all the universities in Nanjing, I believe, uh, like you can't go in there. So it's a shame. I would really like to go in there and make a video. I used to, even before I was a student there, I used to go running there all the time. When I lived on Shanghai Lu, I would either go to Nanjing University or Nanjing Normal University to go running on the track like five days a week. So I spent a lot of time inside the universities. But yeah, this road is just really nice. It has, uh, well, it's lined with trees and just has a nice feel to it. And yeah, there's lots of coffee shops and stuff. And when there were a lot of students in Nanjing, the like the atmosphere here was was really good. Like it had just a really nice feel to it. I mean, I just walked uh, down the road coming this way, and I didn't see a single foreigner, which still feels very strange to me because I mean that's what this area like is known for. Like there's just a lot of foreign students over here but it's very different now so this is that neighborhood i was telling you about up in there it's really a nice neighborhood yeah so the atmosphere here is just it's much different than it used to be it's kind of a shame you can take a look at these shops here also up on the right there are some older houses as well Across the street you can see, well, I'm not sure how well you can see, that's the university, Nanjing Normal in there. It kind of uh, sits on a hill, I believe. You can see it. There's like, uh, there's stairways that lead up into university. So it, it does, it definitely sits on a, on a hill. Lots of little coffee shops over here. And, uh, yeah, there's like little clothing shops as well. It just has a nice atmosphere. It actually still looks pretty good over here even though these trees have lost their leaves. Yeah, so up there you can see one of those older style buildings. Quite nice. And across the street, see inside the university. Most of Nanjing has apartments like this. These are like the older style of apartments. Most of them are like six story buildings and there's no elevator. A lot of the cities actually, like further out, they're all newer apartments. But downtown, this is what everything looks like. I'm not sure what era uh, those buildings are from. I think in one of the other videos, I guessed maybe the 70s, but if you're from Nanjing and you know, you can leave a comment below because I really have no idea. You can see these little coffee shops. And maybe I can sneak across the street and uh, 
show you uh, what it looks like inside there really quickly. Not sure how clear it is. University is really nice. It's just tons of like old trees, uh, like evergreen trees, and just has a nice feel to it. Uh, Nanjing Normal and Nanjing University are both uh, pretty old. Um, I think Nanjing University is better maintained, uh, like the landscaping and everything, but uh, Nan they both have uh, really nice uh, trees and, and stuff in there. So both of them are beautiful places to come and, and walk around. And this is one of the most famous primary schools in Nanjing. Yeah, so these roads are really well maintained. Looks like it's been paved recently. And the sidewalk here. This is all recently redone. Let's see inside there. Nearly at the intersection now with Ninghai Lu. You see, uh, used to be a little restaurant here, foreign food. I don't think it's here anymore. I think it's not. Used to come here all the time to get my contact lens solution. I think the restaurant used to be here, it's changed. And if you haven't been in Nanjing in a while, or you know you were a student here a few years ago, there's a new, I'm not even sure what that is, but that building right across the street there, that's new, that wasn't there before. And since many former students have been commenting on my videos, I will take you over to the entrance of Nanjing Normal University. This McDonald's. A really common hangout for foreign students here. I used to be in the mornings. I used to stop here and get coffee sometimes, and it would just be packed with students. There's actually a club across the street underground. Uh, I think that used to be like a bomb shelter or something, some sort of underground basement shelter. Now it's a club. Here's the university. So this is where I went for. A year well actually I only went here for six months and then the pandemic started you can see it's quite nice after the pandemic started our classes went online which uh, was terrible learning online is uh, not worth it it's shorter hours and it's much harder to focus All right, let's go back to uh, Hanko Shilu. So, if you watch my Shanghai Lu video, you'll remember I talked about that that power grid building. I used to live right next door to it, so that was kind of how I knew where I was in the city. Uh, this is one of the taller buildings in this area. All right, let's go back to uh, to the main road here. Getting into a little bit more of a lively area here. Lots of good food over here. Actually, across the street on that side, there is a nice little fruit stand I used to go to all the time. There's lots of food over here. buying duck so up here on the left there's a market and um, next to the market there's a like a little pizzeria it's really interesting I'll walk over there real fast so here is a market and there's a sugoa there 
But yeah, back here there is a pizzeria. It's quite interesting. So the market's in there. And here's like a little place to get tacos. And then over here there's a pizzeria. Uncle's Pizza. She knows me. Me and my wife come here a lot. Well, we used to come here a lot. But the pizza here is really good. Um, it's, I mean, it's not super cheap or anything. It's still probably 40 to 60 RMB for a pizza. But it's very delicious. It's definitely worth it. If you come to Nanjing, definitely come here. It's called Uncle's Pizza. It's very delicious. It's funny because it's right next to like the vegetable market. The first time I came over here, I was kind of a little bit turned off, but I've never gotten sick or had a stomach ache or anything eating the pizza. So it's really, really good. I definitely recommend it. You can see the market here. And here is a Subo or Chaoshu. We're getting down to uh, Shanghai Lu now, so if you watch my Shanghai Lu video, you'll remember that I I walked directly across here. But back here, there's a let's see if there, there used to be a Korean restaurant back here. Yep, it's still here. This place is really good. I like these little little areas here. I feel like it's cozy, you know. Yeah, so they cook the food over here across the street. Well, across the alley, I mean. And uh, they bring it over there to serve the customers. It's really good food. I lived in Korea for a year and a half before I moved to China. So I fell in love with Korean food and like my whole time in Nanjing, I used to eat a lot of Korean, especially if I was alone, I would go and sit down and have like some stew or some rice, really delicious. So all right, we're gonna, I'm going to take you across the street real quick and we'll walk over there a little bit. I just crossed over Shanghai Lu and now we're walking to, it's like a new neighborhood here. Well, not a new neighborhood, but it's different than where we, where we just were. This is uh, next to Nanjing University, so we'll take a look. Lots of little coffee shops and bars over here. There used to be a place over here that had like a 10 RMB coffee. I'm not sure if it's still still here. But this, this area is pretty cool. When I first moved over here, I really thought this area was neat. It had a good feeling. Here it is, Sir Coffee. I think this one is 10 RMB for uh, a cup of coffee. We'll quickly go this way. I like these little shops and these little cafes. It has a cool feeling to it. Actually, it's funny, my, um, my Chinese teacher in Nanjing, the first year that I lived here, we used to meet at a coffee shop. It was this building right here. That was like eight years ago or something now. A long time ago. But, this is where we used to go. It looks like it's different now. They remodeled it. Well, not remodeled, but it's not the same layout. It's right up in there. And this restaurant's pretty good. Been there a few times. But yeah, I always like these uh, these little alleys. There's a few little barber shops over here. It has kind of a cool feeling to it. And yeah, there's an old, still an old house here. Looks like people live there. Yeah, so this, this neighborhood's really cool. Like I said, I lived right over here when I first moved to Nanjing, and when my teacher, you know, told me to come over here for our Chinese lesson, I was like, wow, this, this neighborhood's really neat. 
I really liked it. It just has a cool feeling to it. And this alley here is where uh, Seco, the German bar is. So I used to come here all the time. I still come here all the time down over there. And Nanjing University is literally right down this road. I'll have to come over here and make another video one day. All right, I'm gonna end the video here so it's not too long. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions of places you'd like me to go. And I will see you guys in the next one.